Hello! Hi guys, it's Inam Kafour here with the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 on the left hand side and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 inch tab on the right hand side. Now the tablet itself is only a Wi-Fi version, it's not the 3G version as well so you can't use the internet when you're out and about. But in this video I'm going to show you how you can tether or link your smartphone to your tablet so that when you're out and about you can use the internet on your tablet but it's coming through the smartphone itself. Now I find this particularly handy as I don't take my tablet out with me all the while so it's no point having a secondary contract just for data access. So I've always got my smartphone with me so all I need to do is tether the smartphone to the device so on those few occasions as I am out and about with the tablet I can use the internet which is via my own smartphone which I've got with me all the time. So first things first, just like to point out, neither of these devices are rooted. You can do this completely stock. Both the devices are, however, running Android Jelly Bean 4.1. Okay, you can do this with Ice Cream Sandwich as well, though. So on the smartphone, that's got the data contract. You can see I've got Wi-Fi turned off because we'd be normally doing this when we're out and about. If I slide across, you'll see mobile data is on because that's what we'll be using when we're out and about. Next, we need to turn on Wi-Fi hotspot. So we go to Menu, Settings. And then once settings loads, you'll see more settings. Tap on that. Now, a couple of options down, you'll see tethering and portable hotspot. And that's what it is. Your phone is going to act as a portable hotspot. And then we're going to tether the tablet to the smartphone. So we tap on that. Turn on portable Wi-Fi hotspot. So we'll just drag that towards the right. And then it says it's turned on. Next things we need to do is tap on it to see the configuration options and here you go. You can see it's called Inam's Wi-Fi and it only allows a certain devices to connect. So to begin with we're going to allow all the devices to connect so I'm going to tap on that and do allow all devices to connect. And I've got a simple just the word password set up as a uh, password for this as you can see there. So next thing we need to do on the device that needs to be tethered so as I say, this doesn't have to be this particular Android tablet, it could be any Android tablet that's 3G or Wi-Fi enabled, but in this example I'm going to be just using a Wi-Fi enabled one. Go to settings and as you can see under Wi-Fi, eventually once it does a scan, there you go, Enam's Wi-Fi has popped up there. So if I tap onto that, it'll display as a password box and if I just type in the password, which was just password and then hit connect, there you go, authenticates, obtains an IP address and now says connected as you can see there and it says connected to Enam's Wi-Fi quickly along the bottom. If I bring down the notifications area on the smartphone you can see it says one device is connected to portable Wi-Fi hotspot which is the tablet itself. Now as you can see on the smartphone it tells you which device is connected, what the name of it is, what the MAC address is and what the IP address is. If you want to restrict only certain devices to connect to your device because obviously you don't want every Tom, Dick and Harry that's in the park to connect up to your Wi-Fi, you can restrict it. And the way in which you can do that is the plus symbol next to your device. Hit the plus symbol, give it a name. I'm just going to call this tablet for argument's sake and it automatically puts the MAC address of it underneath. So we hit OK. And there you can see it says tablet added to allowed device list. So it's added my tablet to the allowed device list. So now what we can do, if we go to allowed devices along the bottom there, we should see that device there called tablet. And um, Bob's your uncle, yeah, you can. So that's in there. So what we'll now do is go back. And we would now want to restrict so that only my tablet can use my phone's internet, no other device around. So what it says in AMS Wi-Fi or whatever the name of your Wi-Fi hotspot is, tap on that. Gives you a submenu, change it to only allowed devices. So it only allows the ones that you specify, no one else. So we hit OK to the message. And you can see it says there only allowed devices are allowed to connect to Inam's Wi-Fi. And as you can see, it disconnected all the devices that were connected to my smartphone. So the tablet is no longer connected. So if I go to the allowed devices, my tablet should still appear as it does. So it should be ready to rock if I just connect back to it. There you go, it connected back straight away. When you do switch from only allowed devices to allow all devices, it does disconnect all the network connections to the smartphone, so you just have to connect back again. But as you can see there, it's connected to my Wi-Fi and the smartphone displays it as well. 
So that's completely secure. And what I'm going to do is just put the smartphone to sleep, leave it on my desk, and now see if the internet will work on my tablet. So if we load up the internet here, and then say if we go to Google, so we'll just do a quick search here just to show you that the internet's working. We'll do BBC News. And it should display results for BBC News and then if we tap into the top result there it should be a fairly intensive site as is the BBC's news website but it takes us through to the mobile version so if we go through and then select the desktop site along the bottom just to give us a better idea there we go that's the desktop site that's loaded so it's as if the tablet itself has got its own internet connection, but in fact it's been routed through from my smartphone being the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. And it doesn't have to be this smartphone, it could be any Android smartphone, as long as you've got the option for portable Wi-Fi hotspot and tethering from the settings menu. And that's how easily you can do it between Android devices. Saves you a bunch of money so you don't have to buy a 3G enabled device. Or a contract with it. Any questions or comments you guys have got, hit them up down in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. The button's also down there as well. It doesn't cost you anything and it's totally free. And you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.